In this video, I'll go over how to properly check and set the chain tension on your Atlas 40 volt chainsaw. When operating a chainsaw, it is important to have proper tension on the chain at all times. Otherwise, you can throw the chain, damage the saw, or even injure yourself. Chain stretches with use, especially new chains, so always check the tension before using a chainsaw and recheck the tension regularly as you go. First, make sure the saw is fully powered down by removing the battery. Then, set the chainsaw on a smooth level surface. If you can see an entire drive link exposed at the middle of the underside of the bar, your chain is too loose and needs to be tightened. Next, with a gloved hand, pull the chain forward on the bar. The chain should move freely and smoothly. If you have any difficulty moving the chain by hand, the tension is too high and should also be adjusted. Adjusting the chain tension on an Atlas 40 volt chainsaw is a simple process. First, loosen the bar nuts with the included combination wrench. If you don't have the combination wrench, you can also use any 13 millimeter wrench. Next, retighten the nuts until they are just barely snug. We only want them tight enough to prevent the bar from swaying side to side while we tension the chain. This saw is equipped with a side access tension adjusting screw. To get proper chain tension, you always start from low tension and bring it up to the proper tension. So if the chain is tight, loosen it first by turning the tension adjustment screw counterclockwise with a combination wrench or a flathead screwdriver. Next, pull up on the nose of the bar with a gloved hand and keep upward pressure on the bar during the tensioning process. Using the included combination wrench or flathead screwdriver, turn the tension adjustment screw clockwise to tighten the chain. Tighten until the chain tie straps just barely touch the bottom of the guide bar rail. Once you have the chain at the proper tension, continue holding the bar in the upward position while you tighten down the bar nuts. Recheck the tension to verify proper adjustment. You should be able to easily lift the chain off the top of the bar with a gloved hand and it should snap back firmly in place. The chain should also still be able to move smoothly along the bar when moved by hand. Now your chain should be at the perfect tension for cutting. Remember to check the tension regularly and adjust it as needed. For additional support, visit harborfreight.com or call our customer service number.